just been an opportunity to get back to doing what I love doing. I love racing. I love performing in front of a crowd. Obviously, last year with COVID, we were limited so much with crowd capacities. So having crowds in these stadiums is awesome. And uh, it's just, I guess, I don't want to say getting experience, but um, it is in a way getting that experience racing leading into World Shore Course. That's obviously the, the pinnacle of the year uh, or to finish this year off. And uh, I want to be swimming as fast as I possibly can in Melbourne in front of a home crowd. So for me, having the opportunity to race against the best guys in the world, um, performing the races that I am going to be racing in Melbourne and just kind of refine my race skills and uh, warm-ups and diet and what I want to do uh, come Melbourne, um, it's been an awesome opportunity. So for me, this weekend, I yeah, it'll be no different. And I'm uh, you know, going for my seventh win in a row in the 100 freestyle. So for me... That's my main focus on on Friday night and uh, the rest is just a bit of fun. For me, it's just refining my skills, uh, my dive and turn. Obviously, uh, short course swimming is all about having fast fast skills and 60 metres of my race is spent underwater. So if I can get my fly kick working well and uh, get off those blocks a little bit quicker, I know that come Melbourne, I'll be swimming close to my best times again. So... Um, for me at the moment, it's where we're training, we're training, we're having to do gym, we're doing quite big workloads in the pool. So not swimming as fast as I probably would have hoped, but I know that uh, I'll be fit and firing by the time World Shore Course comes around in Melbourne. I've only ever been able to do one. I did the Commonwealth Games in 2018 in front of a home crowd. And that was, that was amazing having friends, having my friends and family actually be in the stands, um, being, I guess, able to talk to them pre-race, post-race, see them, like actually look up into the stands and see see your family's um, a very special thing. So for me, that kind of spurs me on and gives me a little bit more energy knowing that they're, they're my people up in the stands. And, um, you know, you always want to swim, swim well in front of a home crowd. So I look at my swimming career, um, you know, it could be my only opportunity or my last opportunity to swim in front of a, a, my, a home crowd at a, at a major tournament. So... Uh, I knew that I couldn't miss this one and I had to be a part of it and I'm really looking forward to it. I know a lot of my well, my family's booked their flights and tickets to come across and a few of my mates will be there and uh, and I'm excited to kind of finish the finish year off and hopefully finish it off on a high. Reptiles are good. Unfortunately, this year I've spent probably eight to ten weeks in Adelaide for the whole entire year, so the reptiles have been neglected quite a lot on my end. Uh my mum and my friends have had to take over a significant workload with looking after the reptiles, but uh, they're, they're good. It's something that I look forward to getting home to always.